Hey. Hmm. I've not seen you before. Who are you? A fresh-faced young man eager to experience the thrill of an outlaw's life? Uh, maybe. I can't think why else you'd be here. There are warm alehouses and welcoming brothels in the town. Food and indoctrination at the monastery. Are you a woodcutter for the camp? Just because I'm cutting wood doesn't mean I'm a woodcutter. Actually, I'm a hunter. My lads and I provide meat for the camp. So you lead the hunters? Normally, yeah. But as you can see, I've got vital woodcutting work to do. So right now, my hunters are running wild like free spirits. Or they think they are. Can you teach me to hunt? Sure you wouldn't rather chop wood? I was thinking more of hunting. Then you're talking to the right man. Shouldn't you get someone else to cut the wood? I'd love to, believe me. But Brogar would nail me to a tree if I left this wood unsawn. Brogar? One of the Don's lieutenants. The leader of the fighters. A, shall we say, powerful, single-minded man. And you're his personal woodcutter? Former sins. Why does he want you to do it? I tangled with him, and now I have to pay. We live by Brogar's laws, eh? you? Brogar's laws? Not the Don's? The Don wants me to hunt. Brogar wants his fire stoked. You judge who's really in charge. Why don't you stand up to Brogar? Him and all his fighters, you mean? So everyone's afraid of him. You clearly haven't met him yet. Then you'd understand. He's over there. Go and introduce yourself. Then decide whether you'd stand up to him. That thing away. About time. Hey. Did I look like I wanted to talk to you? Whoa there. Someone shoot your dog? Stupid and mouthy don't wash well round here. Especially not from workers. So you're in charge here? Nah, they just like me to stand around looking pretty. I'm in charge of the fighters. They're the ones that beat the shit out of lazy workers. Now enough questions. I'm hungry. Bring me a haunch of fried meat from Rachel, the cook up by the smithy. Bit snooty, but a looker. The Don's a lucky man. Of course, with him in that temple all the time, she might need a bit of company. I should have thought of that. Looks everywhere. good. The blades to be sharp, that's very important. Someone needs to do something. Waif and stray looking for pity? Or fortune hunter looking for gold? Looks like I've got another mouth to feed. Are you the cook? 
Amongst other things, you have to be adaptable in these times. One day you've a sword in your hand, the next a ladle. And the cooking relaxes me, if you call stirring wild boar and brugal weed cooking. Sorry, forgotten my manners. <laughs> I'm Rachel. Here, new mouth, take this meat, freshly cooked. Rogar wants a haunch of fried meat. And he sent you to get it for him? <laughs> Lazy devil. Well, I've already given you some meat, so you can sort Brogar out yourself. I need to talk to the Don. Join the queue. I'm thinking of joining it myself. You can talk to me. When Esteban's busy, and he's always busy, I'm in charge. Noted. But can you get me in to see him? No. Look, he needs time alone to think. I'm always having to turn people away, even his good friends. Why would I make an exception for a newcomer? I don't trust the Inquisition. I want to join Don Esteban's gang. Another person without a home. I don't even recognize you from Harbour Town. Are you sure you're not with the Inquisition, New Mouth? If you want to stay, then you'd better make yourself useful. Everyone needs to pull their weight here, and no one gets to see Esteban unless they have something valuable or important for him. How are things around here? Perfect. I don't know why we didn't move out of the town into the swamp earlier. The Inquisition are sucking the life out of the town, but this swamp is sucking the life out of us. We used to be close, all of us. Everyone made their share, worked for their share. Now it's falling apart. And with Esteban in that damn temple, I'm the one trying to hold it together. Can I help? And why would you want to do that? What do you want, New Mouth? Lazy cutthroats, mm -hmm. idle thieves and mosquitoes. Why do you want in on this? Why do you think things are falling apart here? It's those ruins. They've got everyone's mind on treasure. Even my Esteban. The whole place is being dug up. Although I'm certain that not everything that's being found is being delivered to the camp. Esteban makes sure that all the workers get a share of the gold. He's very fair like that. But someone is looking to line their own pockets. You think the Don is losing control? He's... a complicated man. The Inquisition's takeover of Harbour Town shook him up badly. All we've got is this place, and it's fragile, especially at the moment. I really don't need someone stirring up trouble. You sound like you need help. What if I help out? You do that. But, well, if you really want to stick your hand in this beehive, you're welcome to. We can certainly use the help. Everything seems to have ground to a halt. Go to the camp lieutenants and see what sort of problems they're having. That should help you get a picture of what's happening here. Maybe we can root out the source of this rot before it reaches Esteban. Who do you think it is lining their own pockets? And what would happen to them if you knew who it was? He'd be dead. Esteban's not a forgiving man. So it seems. About your camp. I was told you're short of food. You need more meat? Finally, someone who wants to do some work. Yes, I need ten haunches of raw meat. You bring me the meat, and I'll put a little gold your way. I never say no to gold. So who are the lieutenants here? If you can't find that out yourself, how are you going to help me? Just go and talk to everyone. You'll find them. You'll soon see who's in charge and who thinks they are. Here. Ten haunches of meat. As requested. Thanks. These are pretty good cuts. Looks like you've got a skill for hunting. Here's your gold. Hunting doesn't pay that well, then. Take it or leave it. That's what you're getting, and it's enough to fill your stomach or get you drunk. Your choice. I can't help you anymore. Put that thing away. About time. Here, a haunch of fried meat. Good. You wouldn't want to see me when I ain't been fed.
You see why people don't stand up to Brogar? A few bruises won't stop me. You're lucky it wasn't stab wounds. His armor and those fighters make him feel tougher than he is. For you, maybe. For me, that's why I don't tangle with him. Brogar is a big fish in a small pond. And those are giant words. So big, I don't think you know what you're saying. I know some people wouldn't have a problem if he disappeared. I won't be responsible for what Brogar would do to you. Let me worry about that. You should worry. But you're serious, aren't you? What would I have to do to deal with him? If you work for him, do what he tells you and listen to everything he says. He'll let things slip. But you do know what you're proposing is dangerous. How can I become one of the Don's men? Huh. Firstly, I'll need to tell you a couple of things. The Don's a powerful man. Well, he was. Since we've been in this swamp, he's hidden in that temple. Hasn't been out for weeks. His wife Rachel's been trying to run the camp. She's the one you need to impress if you want to meet the Don. Rachel? Right. Before you charge up to her, you need to be aware of... Brogar? You're learning. I could help you. Helpful sort, aren't you? You better not have landed me in it with Brogar. But then one's trouble is another's ease. Rachel needs this meat, so she'll be happy. Take note, sometimes it's better to take sides than end up in the middle. Why can't I get to talk to the Don himself? If you can't get Rachel on your side, maybe you could get past the guard at the temple. Maybe. Sounds like it could be worth a try. True, but it's a long shot. Rachel might be your best way in. About your hunting. What can you tell me about your hunters? Well, there's Lewis. I haven't seen him for days. I expect he's under a rock in the swamp. Not even the swamp flies bother him when he's had a skimful. Doug should also be in the swamp. He should be hunting. But I haven't seen him for days either. And of course you know what delightful tasks I have to do. I met a hunter called Yan. You haven't mentioned him. He got himself posted as a guard on the road to Harbour Town. We never see him back here these days. That's another hunter less feeding the camp. Doug has been successful. He's given me some meat for the camp. We needed that. You better take it to Rachel if you haven't given it to her already. About Brogar. Who knows about Brogar and wouldn't mind talking to me? Talk to Lewis, one of my hunters. He knows a few things, more than you'd think. Start with him, see what he says. How does Rachel feel about him? She's soft. Brogar bullies her. And she's like that even though the Don's behind her. I need some better armor. You won't find it out here. There's only workers' clothes here. Well, what about your armor? Where did that come from? Armor for the hunters and fighters comes from the Don. But you won't get close to that if you're not accepted as one of us. Right, so I've got to join the Don's gang first. All right, where can I get workers' clothing? Hawkins is your man. He's one of the Don's lieutenants. He's in charge of the workers. I don't care what it is, it can't go on like this. 